Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm going to talk about the um, microbit computer. This time, it's listening to a GPS receiver to uh, extract the time and position information of where I am. And it's going to add this data to weather data from a weather station. Okay, so if we start off with a simple micro bit and uh, we add the weather sensors, and I'm going to record temperature, pressure, and humidity. I then want to um, know where the data has been recorded and when it has been recorded. So I use the GPS satellite information about time and position and send it by microbit radio to a second microbit computer. And it acts like a gateway to um, record the information so an Excel spreadsheet can analyze it. So my objectives are to use a Grove GPS to provide location and time stamping of the weather data. And what also happens, I'm using GPS to set the local clock on each microbit. And I'm going to learn how to parse a GPS word. And I also want to be able to um, broadcast accurate time over microbit radio. So uh, let's look a little bit about um, GPS. So there's uh, 31 satellites involved in the whole program. And they give you um, an accuracy stated here on this website of 7.8, um, but other references state that you can get down to 2.5. And um, the manufacturer of the Grove device I'll be using claims it's a 2.5 um, meter accuracy. So um, you will, I will need for at least four satellites. Uh, so I don't need more than that. And that means that I don't have to maintain an accurate atomic clock on my um, PC. So this is what my gear looks like. And right on the top, there's a Netanimo. That's a commercial weather station. And I'm comparing the results of temperature, humidity, and pressure against the uh, readings that um, this gives. In the middle, there's um, Microbit sitting on top of BitMaker, and it's connected. On the left, there's a Lotus computer. It's the red one, and it uses Grove interfaces to a um, GPS satellite. So it's on the bottom left. BitMaker is also connected to an I2C hub, and that connects to the BME 280. And that provides the uh, set weather sensor data. It's also connected to a um, liquid crystal display, and it has two lines and 16 columns, and that's on the, the bottom. Everything's powered uh, using a UPS um, battery. So um, the red computer is a Cedino Lotus computer, and it's similar to a Arduino Uno computer with Grove sockets, just that it's a cheaper package. Connected to that on a serial port, that is D2 and D3, is a um, Grove GPS receiver. And over the serial communications port, this package will transmit data from the Lotus computer to the microbit. And the microbit will um, display on the LDC 
three different pages. One page will be for the uh, location, the second page will be for time, and the third page will be the environmental data. But it also transmits over microbit um, radio to a second microbit, the uh, data that it has collected. So this is what the display looks like. So on the top line, we're getting the uh, latitude uh, south and uh, the longitude of the location where I'm recording my environmental data. And it extracts from the um, satellite data, the uh, GPS time. And the third page, this is where the uh, temperature, humidity and pressure are displayed. So um, how is this all built up? Well, take a uh, microbit computer and connect it to BitMaker. BitMaker provides the um, growth connections uh, so that the uh, additional sensors and other growth devices can be added. But before we do that, we actually get the uh, Lotus ready. And this is where there are two growth connections. One growth connection will go to the microbit and the other growth connection will go to the uh, growth GPS. Both of these connections are serial connections. And uh, we program the uh, Lotus using a um, Arduino IDE on my PC and download that um, via USB serial port. And the only uh, other device we're adding for the first stage is a LDC. This is a liquid crystal display. This is where we get our two lines. And for our second computer, microbit computer, it's going to be connected via uh, microbit radio. It receives the data that microbit computer number one transmits. Both of these computers are connected by USB and the programming is done on the PC using Microsoft Make Code. As an extension, I've also added the um, weather data and both of the liquid crystal display and the Grove BME 280, which is the weather sensor, are connected to a I2C hub. And this allows um, more than one I2C device to be connected to the uh, BitMaker I2C port. So for the software, there's um, three programs involved. One is for the Lotus computer, and it um, is based on a library called Tiny GPS. And it's going to extract the um, latitude, longitude, and time information from the GPS data. MakeCode is used for the other uh, software, and Microbit One is used uh, to get the GPS data from the Lotus computer, and it transmits that. Um, so it's the uh, GPS and radio transmitter. The other um, microbit, microbit number two, acts as a gateway between the, uh, this system and my PC. So it has the radio receiver built into it. And this is what the data will look like uh, on the second uh, microbit computer. So if I'm using a uh, serial monitor, monitor, such as the Arduino serial monitor, uh, I've got a heading for all the data on the first line. And after that, the log number, the uh, latitude, longitude, the GPS time, and followed by the BME 280 environmental parameters, that's time, humidity, and pressure, are all recorded each minute. And the second microbit computer 
just simply transmits that data to uh, Excel and it can do that in uh, real time. So um, from the columns on the uh, top left, we can easily uh, graph the results and we can see and get a, a time stamp for our uh, measurements. Not only a time stamp, but also we, we get um, data on where the data was recorded. Oh, in conclusion, this project took um, about two days, many iterations of design, construct and testing, uh, getting quite a few bugs and um, defects in my software. But in the end, it all worked and I achieved all the objectives that I wanted to. So I'm going to use this for future projects, not only just for temperature, pressure and humidity, but I'll add other environmental parameters, such as um, the reflect the infrared temperature reflected from various surfaces, and I'll be able to do um, microclimate um, experiments similar to what was done to look at the um, impact of shade and um, uh, green trees uh, in our local environment. And uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you.